the Shoemaker by Mara Alperin and Erica Jane Waters In an old and shabby shoe shop there lived a cobbler, Stan, and his wife, Jan. Though they were poor, they were very happy, for they loved to make shoes. Shoes for walking and shoes for jumping, shoes for skipping and best of all, shoes for dancing. Every day, Stan and Jan worked hard making shoes for their little shop. And every evening, they slipped on their favourite dancing shoes and waltzed the night away. The villagers loved to watch them dance, and before long, people young and old whirled and twirled through the door to join in. All summer long, the shoemakers danced, sharing their joy with everyone around them. But soon the bitter winter came and as the weeks passed, fewer and fewer customers stopped to buy shoes. Oh, whatever will we do? worried Stan. Soon we will have no money left and no more firewood. The shop grew quieter and quieter. That night, Stan and Jan huddled by the tiny fire, their fingers too cold to sew and their feet too frozen to dance. Let's go, 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 go to b -b bed, Jan chatted. Perhaps we'll think of something in the morning. But... In the morning, they awoke to find the most magnificent pair of shoes. Leaping laces! Who made these? marvelled Stan. Before they could stop to wonder, the shop door opened and in marched their first customer in week. Good day, cried the customer. My name is Sir Flumby. I spied these splendid shoes in the window and I simply must have them. The shoes fitted perfectly. So Sir Flumby paid Stan a handful of gold pieces and skipped away merrily in his new shoes. Delighted, Stan went to the market to buy some supper and firewood. And that night, the shoemaker and his wife danced with joy once more. The next morning, they found, to their amazement, three new pairs of shoes, even more stunning than the last. Stan and Jan could not believe their eyes, but just then... Greetings, shoemakers! I am Sir Flipsy Flopsy, and I have heard tales of your marvellous shoes. Why, they are even more fabulous than I imagined, he bellowed. I shall buy them all, one pair for me and the others for my horse. Toby. So, Sir Flipsy Flopsy filled the shoemaker's pockets with gold coins and galloped off. From then on, there were shiny new shoes every morning. Soon the shop was warm and cosy and bustling with customers day after day. One day, Jan said, We still don't know who is helping us. I wish we could thank them. 
Then Stan had a wonderful idea. Why don't we stay up and find out? So that night, Jan and Stan hid behind the curtains. They waited and waited and waited until as the clock struck midnight, three tiny elves slipped in through the keyhole and tiptoed across the room. The elves set to work with a stitch, stitch, stitch and a rat-a-tap-tap. -tap. And as they worked, they sang. We love jumping, leaping, prancing. We were sad when you stopped dancing. So when we creep while you're dreaming, making new shoes bright and gleaming. All night the elves sewed until the sun began to rise and then quickly, quietly, they popped back through the keyhole. Stan and Jan were so surprised by what they'd seen. What wonderful little elves, Stan whispered. We must repay their kindness. Let's make them their own little dancing shoes, said Jan, and some dancing clothes too. So, the next morning, that's just what they did. Jan knitted tiny jumpers using tiny pins, then sewed on tiny apple pips for decorations. Stan crafted tiny shoes from dandelion leaves, then stitched them with daisy stem laces. And together, they made little pointy hats finished with the tiniest pom-poms. At midnight, Stan left the tiny parcel on the workbench just before the three little elves crept inside. For our very special helpers, may you dance the night away. With love, Jan and Stan. Kiss, kiss. When the elves saw their new clothes, they were overjoyed. They giggled and wiggled and danced all night in the moonlight. But as the stars faded, the three tiny elves tiptoed away and vanished into the night. That was the last the shoemakers ever saw of the elves. But their kindness was never forgotten. And Stan and Jan danced every night with their friends, just in case the elves ever returned. And who knows, maybe one day they will. If you enjoyed that story, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to reach new people. And remember to hit that subscribe button so that you can keep updated with all my new videos. Take care. Bye for now.